Okay, a couple of more examples dealing with continuity of piecewise functions. And in this one, we're told that f of x is kx squared if x is less than or equal to 2, and kx minus 5 if x is greater than 2. And in this case, there's this variable k that shows up in both of these expressions. And we can't tell if this is continuous or not if we don't know what k is. And the problem is actually to find a value for k so that this function, f of x, defined this way, will be continuous at the point where the function definition changes, which is an x value of 2. So we need to find a value of k that will cause this to be continuous at x equals 2. So that means that the value that we get on the left side of 2 and the value that we get on the right side of 2 will have to be the same when we get really close to 2. And so this is my thought process. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that kx squared this thing must equal kx minus 5 this thing when x equals 2. If that's the case then this curve and this curve which is actually a line but these two will actually meet up at the same y value when x is 2. And so this can be translated mathematically into an equation just by taking an x value of 2 and putting it in for x right there. And you can often skip writing this, but you should at least think it and then write this. k times 2 squared, I just put in an x value of 2 right there for x. k times 2 squared equals k times 2 minus 5. I just put in an x value of 2 for x right there. And now I have a little equation that I can solve for k. This is 4k on the left, and on the right I have 2k minus 5. So it's easy from here. Just subtract 2k from each side, and you get 2k is negative 5. So k is negative 5 halves. And that's your answer. That value of k will make this function continuous at x equals 2. Here's a similar example. f of x is equal to x cubed if x is less than 2, and ax squared if x is greater than 2, or x cubed if x is less than or equal to 2, and ax squared if x is greater than 2. And we want to find a value for a, for this variable a, so that this function is continuous. So that means the, the left side of 2 here, x cubed, must be equal to the right side here, ax squared, when x is equal to 2. So another way of saying that is saying that 2 cubed has to equal a times 2 squared. So that's pretty easy. 8 has to equal a times 4. So a has to equal 2. And that's your answer.